We're back. Don't know what happened. But okay. Let's just get in here. Start queuing up again. Friggin' thing. Jesus. Wouldn't let me quit the game. Who's the last person I played? Okay. Here we go. I don't know why I played that card. <laughs> PS4 update brings more than expected. I'm interested. Oh, Jesus, he's running. Well, we'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. As soon as I see that card, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that. What a counter. What a counter. I can't believe this guy got off. Goddamn mistrial. Maybe he paid people out. Maybe he paid them. Who knows? We'll never know. We'll never know. Alright. Do we want to keep this? I mean, what is this, a hunter? Wank for life. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil, huh? It's like this game knows. It's like this game just knows. It knows me. Steam Summer Sale. No, I have not. What is that all about? Are you kidding me? This guy... Skip turn one. You should never skip turn one as a hunter. What are you doing, buddy? Probably playing with one hand. I mean, it is Hearthstone. Chances are you are playing with one hand. <laughs> Just trying to make, trying to make jokes out of his name. That's all I'm doing. That's the play. That's the play. Maximum value. Maximum value. Anyways, back to the rant. I mean... So, th so that's one option. He had a bad day at work. And he's taking it out on... The person he just shit on in Hearthstone. But is that sustainable? If you, if you were to do that for every person you took a shit on, like how many people before you just like give up and you're like, all right, I'm done, I'm good, I'm not, I'm gonna stop adding these people as friends, and I'm gonna stop shit talking, and I'm just gonna play the game until the next time I get angry at work. And feel the need to do it again. At which point you should probably reassess your place of employment. If it really makes you that angry every single day. I mean, there's on one hand you could push through and be like, ah, I'm not a pussy. I'll push through. Blah, blah, blah. On the other hand, you kind of have to value. Yeah, you could, you could push through, but... What you can't really control is that heart attack that's coming in like five years. You, you can't really control that. Sure, you could push through and be all macho and stuff, but 
you can't you can't really sidestep that heart attack or that brain tumor or whatever you know like you, you're gonna get fucked in the ass with a sandpaper condom eventually right if you keep that shit up like simple simple biology simple chemistry that's just how it works all right it's just how it works i mean if this is a snipe he's just he's just better than us if that's a snipe okay it's not a snipe <laughs> Be beautiful beautiful we got him boys all right basically steam summer sale it's a huge game sale and the meme is people's wallets run dry because the deals are so good okay I'm a fan I'm a fan of that whoever came up with that idea give them a promotion give them a promotion uh do I want to do this I mean I guess I guess okay okay buddy give me a spell power totem one time oh my goodness we got fucked and he's got and he's got a <laughs> a way to clear this okay we're just gonna we're gonna hang on to it we need value we need more value we're gonna draw extra he's not gonna go face I know he's not gonna go face <laughs> watch him go face <laughs> Jesus <laughs> that's funny all right I just I need a spell power totem that's all I need that's all I need okay give me give me this goddamn spell power totem Jesus we lost we lost because we got fucked on the spell power totem draw you know what we can do to save ourselves is this a beast shit <laughs> do we want to I mean I, I, we have to kind of have to oh that's not the oh Jesus I'm so bad okay we, we lost we lost let's just let's get out of here let's get out of here we fucked up fucked up too hard wank for life took us out we're not gonna give him the satisfaction though we're 15 away then we can get rid of this goddamn deck oh, oh that's right dumped the more lux should have dumped the more lux keep forgetting to do that Pelican, don't be a quest rogue, please. One time. Oh, give me those Murlocs. Look at, look at those Murlocs. That's what I like to see. Okay. Okay. People, people are uh, raiding marijuana dispensaries in Toronto. Humans are. A weird species. Can you imagine? Can you imagine chimpanzees raiding each other's marijuana dispensaries or like <laughs> whatever chimpanzees deem to be illegal? <laughs> like, I mean, ah, oh, Jesus. Let's just. 
You know what? You know what? Let's just let's, let's go for the value. Like if you're an alien, right? And you're just watching. You're just watching like the life forms on this planet. And like the way we view like monkeys. They just like swing through trees and stuff, eat bananas, whatever, right? That's how they would see us. Like everything we do, build bridges, build cars, drive around, go to work, you know, watch TV. That would be like the same kind of behavior to them as us watching monkeys like fucking swing around in trees and like eat bananas and shit. Like it would be that kind of like just completely benign and... Like, like, objective behavior. And every animal on this planet kind of just behaves naturally, just like does shit, like eats and runs around, takes a shit, fucking swings through trees, whatever, digs a hole. And they're just going to look at us and be like, these motherfuckers are like throwing each other in metal cages because they disagree with what the other person's doing. Like, what other animal does that? It's like, oh, I I disagree with what you're doing, so I'm going to take you, I'm going to lock you up in a metal cage, and I'm not going to let you, I'm just going to confine you to this tiny little area because you did something that's not harming anybody. And... <laughs> and you're... I just disagree with what you're doing, so I'm just going to lock you up in, in a metal cage. Like, what? They'd be like, what the fuck? Like, these, these things have gone crazy. How are they the dominant species on this planet? We don't agree that you're standing there and providing this plant that just so happens to have its water removed from it to this other monkey. And we don't agree with the fact that that monkey made its own choice to go buy this plant from you. So we're gonna lock you up. <laughs> I mean, I can understand if you like murder somebody or rape them or whatever, but <laughs> we're just gonna, we don't agree with, with, with this thing that you're doing that's not hurting anybody. So we're gonna lock you in, up in jail. And then, and then we're gonna make all these other monkeys pay to keep you in there we're gonna make them go work and pay for you to be in this in this metal box that's what we're gonna do and the aliens will be like no wonder no wonder they haven't made it to, to space yet no wonder they haven't even fucking made it to the nearest planet yet haven't even colonized that shit no wonder the planet is going to kill them in like 60 years or so. It makes perfect sense. We're, we're not going to... You want to know why? Okay, here, here's, here's my theory as to why the aliens haven't invaded yet. The reason why is because in order for them to make it here, they've got to be way smarter than us. Now, 60 or 100 years in their lifetime or in, from their perspective is nothing. They realize that we're all going to be dead in less than 100 years because the planet's going to just kill us. So, <laughs> they're, just, they're just waiting. Yeah, they're just waiting. They're just chilling. They're like, well, we're just, we're not going to invade. We're just going to let the planet wipe them out. Then we don't have to expend resources. You have to realize resources are very valuable. When you're that kind, when you're a space-faring civilization, why would they waste resources to wipe us out when they can tell that we're just gonna wipe each other out, or we're gonna fuck the planet up so hard? It's already too late. It's already too late. Like the planet's gonna not be able to support life in like a very short amount of time. So they're just gonna chill. They're just, they're just watching. They're just watching. Maybe they're making their movies whatever the alien version of hollywood is they're just making little documentaries and stuff they're like oh yeah we'll just entertain ourselves watch these monkeys kill each other 
And then we'll just, after that, we'll just move right in. Bam, populate the planet. Easy, simple, simple. That's the theory, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> See, wolves work together. Dragon ZXZZ says wolf pack. Wolves work together. They're a very unique species in that sense. I don't think there's anything quite like wolves. But... <laughs> oh, here we go. If only I had... If only I had... Jesus. Let's just prevent... Let's prevent the bleeding. Let's prevent the bleeding. Bleeding. Summon those Murlocs. Yeah, wolves work together. I mean, I mean, I would compare hunter-gatherer humans to a wolf pack. Ten thousand years ago, we worked together. We hunted our food, lived in caves, gathered food, whatever berries and shit, whatever we ate. That was ten thousand years ago. But now we're <laughs> we're building giant metal dicks. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the YouTube highlight. <laughs> we're fucking. We're building giant metal dicks. We're working together to build giant metal dicks. That's all we're doing. Everything we do is just giant metal dicks everywhere. <laughs> That's funny. Giant metal dicks. Digging them out. Beautiful. Get that board control. Building giant skyscrapers, giant metal dicks, rockets, missiles, submarines, giant metal dicks. They're everywhere. Everything we make, giant metal dicks. That's... The aliens are going to look down and be like, why are these monkeys just building giant metal dicks? Like, what's happening? They watch the rovers going to Mars. They watch the rover land. What's the first thing we did when we landed on Mars? Drew a giant dick with the rover. Just drew a giant dick in the sand. If you don't believe me you can google it but for entertainment purposes we could pull up that <laughs> we could pull up the picture easy show it on stream it's not it's not a <laughs> it's not a secret all right Let's, uh, what did he steal from us? We're getting, we're getting shafted with this draw. You want to see, you want to see the first thing that we drew on Mars when we landed the rover? You want to see the first thing? All right, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you the first thing we drew. There it is. That's the first thing the rover drew. Alright? Tell me that's not a giant dick. Like, the aliens are like, what the hell is happening right now? What the hell is happening? What are these monkeys doing? <laughs> are we dead? What's going on here? That's it. With the balls and everything. What's, what's happening? What's happening right now? Can you imagine if the chimps made like like a, a very rudimentary transportation wagon or something like a, a wheelbarrow and they sent they sent a chimp like an explorer chimp to like you know venture out of the Amazon or wherever the fuck they live and they hit up like a like a farm or something like the outskirts of a, a metropolis area metropolitan and and the first thing this chimp did 
was draw a giant chimp dick in the farmer's uh, land. Can you imagine? We'd be like, what the fuck are these chimps doing? <laughs> That's what the aliens are thinking. <laughs> I guess we're dead. I should have dumped the Murlocs. I think we got the quest though. I think we're good. I think we're good. <clears throat> I got distracted by the the Mars the Mars thing. <laughs> 67. Jesus. So close. So close. Everything we do though, it's true. Just giant dicks everywhere. Trains, giant metal dicks that move quick in one direction. Well, I mean, <laughs> they can reverse, but. <laughs> What's with all the hunters? What's happening right now? Like, is there like some new meta that I'm not aware of? Somebody discovered like a sick fuck hunter deck? get that value oh my goodness we're gonna shit all over this hunter we're already we're already ahead he should have played the cats he should have played the two cats that's what he should have done what's going on boss look up at me look up at me yes Is he going to rope us? Or did we lose connection? I don't think we lost connection. What the fuck? What is this? Wow. U of T has lost their minds. He is roping us. Did he did he disconnect? What's happening? He's just that angry that we took out his uh dire wolf? Oh he's still there. He's still he's still mousing over some cards. He's still mousing over. Get that value. Get that value totem up there. I can't believe. Oh here we go. We got cats. Unfortunately, I'm not too sure what he thinks he's... Okay. He's going to get angry at this. He's going to get angry at this. <laughs> the value. The value. <laughs> Jesus. I feel bad for this guy. I mean, sometimes, sometimes you just... This deck just shits all over something else or sometimes you just miss your draws maybe it's because I'm not talking about rovers drawing dicks on Mars and giant metal dicks even though that's what we're doing that's what we're doing as a species aliens are gonna find the, the Google servers a thousand years from us fr from now they're gonna find the YouTube servers they're going to watch all of YouTube in like 30 seconds. Consume all human knowledge and, and you know, social constructs and everything. Just society. They're going to learn all about us. Watch all of YouTube. And they're going to be like, Jesus, these monkeys, they were just... <laughs> they were drawing giant dicks in, in sand and, and making giant metal dicks. and That's all they were doing. Did they not? I mean, they knew... They knew that the sphere was was the most energy efficient and ergonomic design, but for some reason they just they built giant dicks nonstop. I mean, some of these ones that lived in the north they did they, they they made half spheres. I mean, that worked. But what's going on with these southern dwellers? What's with all the giant metal dicks trying to 
Trying to make the most massive giant metal deck out of everybody. What's happening? <laughs> it's four times three. I mean, we don't we don't really have lethal, so we're just gonna value value it up. Preserve preserve everything. Uh oh. Uh oh. Apparently there's people robbing the Etobicoke area, which is uh, an area in Toronto, which is where I live. Got him. So essentially we just, we win every time we get bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> do we get do we get the uh the quest come on give me that quest don't make me play another game oh my goodness 69 we only played like two murlocs this guy's robbing a subway is what it looks like oh it is a subway why the fuck is he why are you robbing a subway are you that desperate who robs a subway I don't even know, like, is it even worth it to rob, like, uh, anything these days? Because, like, who uses cash anymore? Like, it's all fucking debit or credit or whatever. Like, like, maximum that register is going to have, like, a couple hundred. Maximum. Like, if that even. Like, like who uses cash anymore? Everybody's using debit. Everybody's using credit. What are you going to rob? What are you going to steal? Yeah, give me a bunch of subs. Give me, give me, give me twelve foot longs. He's got a fucking shotgun pointed at him. Give me twelve foot long turkey, uh, <laughs> extra cheese. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, cash is probably a few months worth of food. Yeah, <laughs> what are you robbing? I'm looking at this guy, he's got like a hood, a bandana, or, or like one of those like face covers, and he's just, he's holding a shotgun, and he's pointing it at what looks like a man and his daughter, like, it looks like a child, and they're like crouching in front of the subway counter. Like, like you could tell they were they were watching the guy make their sandwich, and then Buddy just walks in and he's pointing a shotgun. It's like, why are you pointing it at the customers? What the fuck are the customers gonna give you? Here, have my wallet that doesn't have any cash in it. Who carries cash around anymore? And if you do, you're probably only gonna carry like twenty bucks on you. Everything else is like a credit card, debit card. Who carries fucking more than more than twenty dollars at a time on them anymore? I mean. Obviously a couple people, but the majority of people are not going to have that much money. Maybe like 20 years ago, it would be a good idea to rob somebody. To like, if you're after money. But like, these days, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to take their cell phone? Every cell phone can be tracked now. So you can't do that. Or else you, unless you want the police to find you and like, instantly arrest you. What are you going to do? Rob them for 20 bucks? If, if you're lucky, you'll get $20. Or else it's just going to be a bunch of cards. What are you going to do? Like, force them to go an ATM? And, like, withdraw all their money? That's... That's risky. It's risky. That's a rookie move, if you're a robber. Let me, let me tell you. Like, it's a rookie mistake. These people, they're probably just, like... Well, I mean, they can't be drug addicts either. That's the thing, cause like, if you're if you're like a heroin addict, then how the fuck are you gonna afford a shotgun? Like, where are you gonna get a shotgun from? You you're, th you're throwing all your money away on the drugs, so where the fuck are you getting the shotgun from? So, cause this guy, I mean, he's got a shotgun. He had the wherewithal to wear gloves, so he doesn't get his prints all over the shotgun. He's he's got his face covered, so he's he's 
he's clearly I don't know maybe he has a drug problem but he's not like like super like you know fucked like he's not just like, like hardcore like completely lost his mind addicted he's got he's got some sort of foresight to plan as he robs this subway which clearly he's like okay it's gonna have security cameras so let's cover up my face but he doesn't have enough of a foresight to to be like well I mean these people are probably not gonna have any cash on them and the maximum I'm gonna get from this subway is like a hundred dollars if I'm lucky maybe that'll cover the gun customer or random danger should be wary of them too yeah it's true you don't know what these fucking guys know that this guy could be a black belt jujitsu or, or some shit he could choke you out instantly all right i'm thinking we lose this matchup like 100 percent of the time so i'm just gonna look for my cards that i need or we just play as many more locks as we can so we get this this shaman out of here oh that's funny oh oh a woman yeah oh it's a woman <laughs> okay never mind Su suspect in a rash i like that in a rash of armed robberies points a rifle at a woman and young child inside a subway restaurant in this surveillance camera image god damn it like it's 2017 and this image is blurry as fuck like like a 50 dollar cell phone has better image quality than whatever the fuck this surveillance camera is like why are you not like you can you can get a camera that's super crisp super clear for like 20 bucks at best buy why are they still using this bullshit and it's not like a shit restaurant either it's a subway like this is a chain how expensive is it to get like some some good fucking 10 megapixel camera in there? Th this thing looks like it's like less than a megapixel it's so blurry you can't even tell what's happening you can barely make out that he's holding a rifle get your camera shit together subway <laughs> get your surveillance cameras all right let's uh let's start building this board ah take that buddy take that beautiful That's true. Probably don't want up well. There you go. Goddamn corporations. Don't want to spend money to protect their own people. Even though the number one reason companies install cameras is to protect themselves from their own employees, not from robberies is to protect themselves from employees robbing them because that's usually what happens is the employees fucking rob from the cash or whatever so they're trying to catch their employees the employees are the number one risk not not third-party robberies I mean those happen too but that's not why the cameras are there they're there to fucking protect the cameras investment or to protect the company's investment from the employee chances are the employee is gonna be the one that robs you But if you can't even tell what the fuck the employee's doing, because your your image quality is such shit, then what's the point? I mean, this is too good. This is too good. All right, that value, hero power. I don't see that's the thing like like th dragon zxzz in the chat says they probably don't want to upgrade over thousands of cameras that they installed 10 years ago I don't I don't know how if, if it actually works that way cuz subways like like if you want to open a subway the the person who owns that location 
is responsible? I don't know, like, is head office responsible for cameras? Or is the person who owns that location responsible specifically for that location's, like, hardware? Let's put it that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was such a inefficient trade. Oh, oh, he thought I was talking about like subway, like trains, public transit. No, no, subway restaurant, like like Mr. Sub or whatever. <laughs> I'm sure the this the the other type of subway is uh, the same. Probably worse. Good luck getting the government to spend any amount of money to fucking benefit the people. Um, I mean, that'll work. Get out of here. Don't be a taunt. Get in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, he's gonna have to take out the 7-2. Unless he brawls. He might have a brawl. If he brawls, we're fucked. Because next turn we got... Oh, he is brawling. Oh my goodness. Could have double bloodlusted in one. <laughs> oh, and his dude survives too. That's brutal. Just gotta dump my Murlocs. I'm I'm pretty sure we uh we, we got the quest. We got the quest. I have an axe to grind. You have an axe to grind. Yes you do. Okay. Hopefully, we got the quest. Hopefully. What's Facebook doing? Facebook changes mission statement to bring the world closer together. You know what they should change it to? We are trying to track everybody and enslave the human race. <laughs> That's what they should change it to. Didn't he say... Well, okay, they own Oculus, so there's that. I'm pretty sure Zuckerberg was like, yeah, we want to get everybody in a VR headset so that everybody lives in the Matrix. <laughs> That's totally false. I have no idea if he actually said that, but I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> we want to get internet to every corner of the earth so that everybody, even in Africa, every tribe in Africa can uh, get on Facebook and become a slave to the fucking news feed because that's all it is is just like do you, do, do you realize that to a vast majority of people the internet is Facebook that's all they know you ask them what's the internet and they'll be like Facebook that is so sad like I, I that's that's like borderline crimes against humanity like that that shouldn't happen and I blame the education system I don't even have a Murloc. But let's dump this one. Because we want to get that quest. Alright. We got the quest. I think. We, we, we should have the quest. We should have the quest. And then we're going to do an overload shaman. Come on. Give me that quest. Give me that quest. 
We got the quest. Beautiful. All right. It's time for some overload cards. All right, let's get this. Let's get this wild out of there. Let's get this one out of there. Let's get this one out of there. Mid range is okay. Oh, oh yeah, this this mage. Okay. All right. Shaman. Let's do some overload. This is gonna be the ultimate troll deck. We're gonna put the biggest shit in here. Okay. Get some of those. Get some of these. <laughs> oh yeah, get some volcanoes in there. Are you kidding me? We're gonna need some some health. We're gonna need some health. Ah, uh, do we want doom hammers? I don't know. The rest is going to be elementals. We need the health. We need the health. Oh, I don't have the... Uh... Oh, I do have them. Nice. Let's get the gold ones in there, huh? This is going to be like... If we, if we can make it to late game will wreck but <laughs> other than that let's let's just make sure that we make it to late game with those uh let's maybe get this guy out of there get one of those in there we need the overload Do we want Alec here? Maybe, maybe get one of those out. Just go super high end. You, eh, I don't know. This might work. This might work. We'll, we'll change it as we go. Okay. We're going to take a break. Take a break. Be right back. With some... more sick fuck shaman action bam <laughs> 